Alright guys, so today I have a very simple XP farm that will gain you tons and tons of XP. You can get up to like a hundred levels in like an hour or two. And it's just an amazing farm and it's very, very cheap. Alright, so once you get the end, you kill the ender dragon. don't really need to but it probably helps to do it for safety what you're gonna want to do is grab yourself three stacks of slabs this is important that they have to be slabs because uh, no enderman can spawn on them and if they if you just use random blocks or regular blocks enderman can spawn on them making you making it really difficult to actually get over to where you're gonna build your base thing so grab yourself three stacks of um, any slabs and then how you're gonna want to do this is go to the edge of the end island This is this spot right here and make sure you place them right there If you place them right there, I believe they can still spawn on them. I'm not entirely sure but I'm pretty sure they still can But just to be safe put them on, on the So once you're about three blocks out, make yourself a little platform. I would suggest doing this out of the slabs as well, just to throw the spawns. Alright, so now that you have built your platform and your uh, passageway thing, you're going to want to grab some hoppers, some chests, and just some regular stone blocks. What you're going to want to do is break out a couple of these, just like that. Place these like this. And then place one, two, three, one, two, three, and then put some chests there, and then put the hoppers into the chest. And this will be where the endermen actually land. Alright, so after you have this done, you're going to want to grab blo a block of your choice, and you're going to want to build a, like, just a small case around here. Just to make sure that none of the endermen actually escape. And you're going to want to build up 43 blocks. It has to be exactly 43 blocks because if it's more, they'll die on impact when they come down. And you won't get any of the XP. And if it's less, it'll potentially, you won't be able to just one hit them. And they could come out, teleport out, and kill you. And it's not a very good day. So, 43 blocks up. And I'll tell you what to do next. glass and I recommend this one thing do not use netherrack to build this because I did that first and the endermen could pick up the netherrack and it just completely destroyed my build I had to redo it so you do not build it out of netherrack please now what you're going to want to do is come to the back of um, this tube thing make sure you're at the back and you're going to want to make a three by three block right here with that part included so three by three and then just mark this spot right here it's going to be the center of uh, where your ender might sit uh, you're probably going to want a few stacks of ender pearls depending on what mode you're in if you're in hard mode you might only want one stack if you're in medium probably two or three and if you're in easy probably four or five but this is important because this is how you're going to use your you're going to spawn the ender mite um, if you're doing this in creative, you cannot use a spawn egg because the endermen will actually go after it. So you're going to have to use some of these. So, now build two up around here, just like I am right now. You're going to place a temporary block right there, just like this. Place down two rails, place down your minecart, and then just start spamming your ender pearls. You're going to want to bring a couple stacks of food with you if you're in survival because you're still going to take the fall damage from this. So, let's um, spawn it. Alright, I'm switching to voiceover because the Endermite was just way too loud for the video. My talking was way too quiet, the Endermite was way too loud, and I was bleeding my ears out. So I'm just going to do a voiceover for my phone on this. So, after you spawn your Endermite like I just did there, you're going to want to get... Um, you're not going to be able to push it into the minecart. I'm not sure why. 
but when I first tried to do this, um, it took me hours to figure this out. So what you're going to do is get a uh, redstone torch, put it up there, and it will find it will go in just like that. Then break the rail and break the torch, push it to the back, and then break. Uh, I believe that's what I'm about to do. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do is get an anvil and a name tag, and then name the actual endermite something, just anything random, uh, B-A-B-F works if you want to do that, whatever. Uh, then you have to name the endermite, I don't know if it works in the minecart or not, but for me it didn't, so you could try it, and if it doesn't work, break the, break the minecart and then name it like that. Put the minecart back down and power it, should be fine because you're in the way of the other blocks so it won't move. Then, once it's renamed, it won't despawn, so you should be good. Then go ahead and break the um, the excess blocks on the outside, including the temporary block. And then, you are basically good to go to creating the enclosure thing. So, um, now put like a backstop to it, so the Endermite doesn't move at all in the minecart. So you see how high difficulty, there we go. Make sure it's too high so the Endermite can actually move. Make sure you turn it like I just did there uh, because then it won't move forward. Then get some oak trap, not oak, just get any trap doors and place them like that so that it won't be able to move anywhere. And then place them above like I do here so that the Enderman can't actually go and attack it because that's what they're going to be trying to do. And then just place them above as well, like I just did there. I don't know what I'm doing right here. Then put some trapdoors on the inside of there, make sure they're like that, because if they're not, uh, the Enderman won't actually fall down that hole. Then with some stone, make a little outside layer like I am there. And then just put more trapdoors like I do. Make sure you put all the trapdoors as I am because on those outside blocks, Endermen can spawn and you really don't want that or else your Endermite will die. And then make sure you have those little lips right there. That will make it so the Endermen actually go into that hole, fall down. Then you can start building outwards. Um, And that's basically that enclosure complete. Then you're just going to have to start making your actual, um, the actual platform where the Endermen spawn. So I'm just going to finish to when I'm done with it. Alright, so this is basically as large as I made it. Um, you can see they're spawning pretty fast. And, um, typically you'd make it a lot bigger. I don't know what I'm doing in my inventory. But typically you make it a little bit bigger than that. And, um... Just so that they spawn much faster, but that works as well. That one you'll see in like a minute that how much that actually gave me. All right, so here I am back at the bottom, and you can see the Endermen are actually falling down. That's because when they spawn, they're mad at the Endermite, and they're trying to go over there and kill it, but they can't because they get they fall into that trap. And as you can see, every time I swing my sword, I get this massive giant freaking ball of XP around my uh, PP area, and that is because you kill so many Endermen that it's just overflow of XP. And after like an hour of doing this, you can get you can expect to get up to like level 150, maybe even 200 if you're lucky. And there's just an extra screen for you, so you can see actually how much XP you get per swing. All right, so if you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, you know what to do. Just like the video and comment something retarded. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Also check out my other videos because I'm starting to make better ones now. Bye-bye. Uh,